Hey Collective, let's get some messages for the 26th. This is May 2022. It is late at night, but I am not going to sleep until I get a reading out for you. <laughs> and it's still the 26th, so that is the energy. What is going on, Collective? Please, God, clear, concise messages. Thank you. Amen. On the three. All right. What is the situation? What is the collective consciousness energy? All right, we have the Queen of Swords coming out in the progressive here. So this is a lot of really fast uh, moving energy or situation. Here with this Swords Air Energy, lighting isn't the best at night here, guys, sorry. Um, but yeah, so we have Libra Energy. So this is the type of soul or situation that has its suspicions, but it's also very open to reason. And suspicion is due to experience, right? So fool me once, shame on me, uh, shame on you, um, fool me twice, shame on me. So it's really, it's arm's length energy, um, but it's also it's because justice and balance and truth matters. So this is about sifting through uh, facts and it's nurturing this situation as well. It's diplomacy. It is, you know, the language of unions. It's the language of compromise here. Um, with the Queen of Swords. So this is really, it's... I would say it's pretty neutral energy. It's not bad or good. I mean, it's swords energy, it's air, fast moving communication. And there's Venus energy here as well. Libra is ruled by Venus. It's also the seventh house, um, which is partnerships. All right, what are you or the other person's thoughts about the situation? You could be dealing with an older air sign female or someone with, um, a lot of air in their chart, a woman with a lot of air in her chart. Okay, so we have, as you can see, sort of a million cards jumping out here. Uh, that was really a sloppy shuffle, <laughs> so I am just going to go thoughts, please. Three cards or less, please. Thoughts. You are the other person's thoughts about the situation. All right. Wow. So we have a uh, six of cups here with the Empress card. Mm. I think you can see it a little bit better like this. Let me try zooming in. All right. <laughs> uh, this is gorgeous energy. So this person or this situation could be making, or you could be bringing about or manifesting even this sort of, you know, airy energy about a partnership, someone who communicates in the way that reminds you of something exceptional, um, like the perfect woman, the perfect female, the perfect um, partner. So 
So Six of Cups really talks about this nostalgia sentimentality, someone from your past. We do get soulmate or twin flame energy there, if that's your thing. Uh, more Venus energy showing up with the Empress herself uh, because Taurus and Libra is ruled um, by Venus. So again, being represented here, but more in the beauty and the arts. This could be about the communicative arts as well. Uh, writing and workshops, um, learning. Uh, this could also be indicated with travel. There's a lot of like presentation and um, presence energy here because it's a masculine sign. So this could do well in the workplace as well. Just as an energy, even if it isn't a person. Because it's sharp, it's sharp-witted, it's a logical energy. Um, um, and knowledgeable, right? So this is definitely this area here and the thoughts about this is like, these are really keen thoughts <laughs> about this energy. So if this is you, you're really feeling, you know, intellectual, but it's like, um, is it sapiosexual? Is that what it's called? I think it's when you have sort of um, like a mental or cerebral, like an intellectual connection with somebody and that uh, is part or a larger, to a larger extent, the appeal itself, a part of the appeal or the, or itself. So that is interesting. So, um, yeah, it could, so it could be someone here from your past here or someone who feels familiar or remind you of someone here. All right, what are your feelings? You are the other person's feelings about the situation. Could be some romance, right? I mean, whatever. Venus is beauty, right? It's beauty, it's love, um, it's the arts, it's the um, ideal female, it's feminine mystique. Uh, it's the mother, right? There is mother quality here as well. Um, yeah. You are the other person's feelings about the situation. It's abundance as well, right? All right, so we have five showing up here. So the feelings are pretty, hmm, I would say pretty obsessed with regard to working towards something here. The devil is showing up again in the feelings here. Capricorn energy though, I mean, this is a, this is a really good work environment. If this is a work reading for you, holy smokes, you could be coming out of hiding here with the, the hermit showing up right next to the devil card. Sorry guys, this lighting is not ideal, um, but I want you to see the cards. The Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Hermit, and the Devil. So essentially with the King right in the center here, there's a lot of passion, say, an entrepreneurial spirit, desire, etc. Here within this heart space regarding the situation, and today it'll always be the Queen of Swords. Um, so this is very interesting. Now we could be looking at collaborations within the work environment. Things that, like I say, bring us out of, say, hiding or out of solitude here in order to um, bring something to light or bring um, the flame of life to something or the spark of life to something here because that King of Wands is just, it's like the Duracell bunny. It's like that just energy plus here this guy and with the eight of pentacles looking right at this ten of pentacles which is the legacy card or the tree of life um this is 
hard work paying off. We have this worker energy. Two Earth cards t energy here with Virgo and Capricorn showing up. We have Mercury and Saturn uh, for those planets if those are um, prominent in your chart or if you have Capricorn and Virgo in your chart here or Leo for that matter. But absolute focus on a goal it has to do with the situation I think collaboration I don't see the three of pentacles but I'm feeling three of pentacles energy when I look at all of these together because and this could be about groups of people too I don't even know where that's coming from and I just feel like groups not even the same group for like even one project, but like if there's a few things going on. But <laughs> having the blinders on about this situation, very, it's uh, lusty here. If this is a love reading for you, this is almost like this person could be making an appearance is what I'm seeing here. It's very interesting. All right, what is the most likely outcome for this situation? You know, a reappearance, like someone could be coming. Like there's some matchmaking going on here. I don't know how else to put that. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It's any situation. It's a general reading, right guys? I don't know what you're applying this to. If it fits, um, I hope it's helpful. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there's like this um, like something has really in the heart space here gained there's so much clarity here. I know we're dealing with a lot of cards and a lot of energy, but I'm it's so focused. The pentacle energy around this, and I mean earth energy, right? on each side of this cane. Um, yeah, this could be, what's it called? Like, Quicksilver. I don't, I don't even know where that's coming from. I just mean like, when I look at this, like something is so fast, it's just taking off and yeah, we saw that sort of doors opening in that key and potential keys and locks opening yesterday. So maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe it's just, things fitting into the right timing. But a lot of passionate practical energy that could be bringing forth extremely potent and long lasting, extremely lucrative work um, or outcomes. You know, that's important to you here, right? Because your thoughts and feelings about this situation or this person is pretty strong. <clears throat> and it could have to do with the arts, right? or beauty, or um, yeah, the art world. Creation, abundance. Geez, if this is about money, that'd be great too. It could be like a, an issue of justice is turning in your favor here, or you could be banking on that. All right, what is the most likely outcome for this situation collective? I would say if you or the other person does encounter some codependency or obsessive behavior though, um, and it's not <laughs> say reciprocated or it's like, or it's one sided, I would definitely pull back, but that's not what I'm seeing here. I see something that's, you know, mutually beneficial here.
Alright guys, uh, it's just way too many. I'm just going to try to get three or less, please. <laughs> three or less. Most likely outcome, please, for this situation. It's four, but I will take them, okay. So, <clears throat> most likely outcome. So we have a younger earth sign male. <clears throat> we have more Virgo energy here with the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Magician, yes. So something definitely being manifested. I said this earlier here um, in the thoughts. Um, so yeah, bringing something to life here, we see a couple of nines. I think those are our only duplicates. <clears throat> yes, so very interesting, more mercury energy. We saw that here with this hermit card. You know, there's a great deal of personal development here. Um, and there is a cold energy here as well. There's a standoffishness. But again, I it's for a reason. So, I would say eagle eye view of something is leading to very clear vision um, about something very, <laughs> something that you feel that you're very, very attached to, <laughs> that is extremely tempting. Yeah, a lot of temptation and possibly, like, obsession. And it could be about work, guys, right? But I mean... We do see this sort of exhaustion energy here with the Nine of Wands, that wounded soldier energy here. But I also just consider this to be, especially with this Knight of Pentacles looking at him and the Knight of Pentacles on the other side, or Nine of Pentacles on the other side of all this hard work is, man, you could just be burning the candle at both ends here for real. And if this is an offer and someone's bringing news or development or a project to life, it's going to take time. This is a great deal of time. So this is going to take like this is something that's developing while it seems to be developing quickly. It is for the long term, if that makes sense. And it's going to, I would say, within a partnership here, probably accelerate um, a lot of wealth. <laughs> and, you know, I'm only saying that because we just have the eight, the nine, and the ten of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles. We have two very hard worker cards. We have sixth house and tenth house represented here. Venus and beauty. So, I mean, if this is work in the arts, I would say that this is extremely lucrative and very powerful um, to the point where you could go into business for yourself or be able to um, work, as I said earlier, perhaps entertainment here, but um, there is a lot of just leadership. It essentially, leadership quality, leadership skills here. So, hmm, very interesting. I believe we saw the sun yesterday for general energy for the whole reading. We'll look at this in detail in just a moment. We saw the sun yesterday as well. So, yeah, something. And we saw the hermit. So, mm -hmm, there's no hiding something here. <laughs> something, and there's that three of pentacles right under the sun, if you can see him. 
uh, and I mentioned him a little earlier as well. I sort of felt that earlier. So yeah, collaborative efforts paying off here for sure. I believe we even saw the six. So repeating cards is like, okay, this movement, keep going in this trajectory if you like the outcome here. <laughs> Oh, and then I wanted to say here with the magician is really just about that manifestation, that being able to pull all of your resources and, and everything out of your tool belt to make something happen. And we, we see this here in the thoughts, right? This bounty, this beauty, this, um, basically this is a manifesto card, but this is a physical realm, right? Because it's mother, it's, and then we have all this physical energy. So, mm hmm something is being created in the real world here. Here an external energy or um, outside influence, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Tower. Wow. Okay, so someone's, someone's rocking someone's world here. <laughs> Basically, it's what I'm reading this in a nutshell. This could be considered flighty energy, like someone who's in and out of your life. Um, but in terms of the situation here, I would say, and you know, with regard to the entire reading, we do have the, where did I see? The night in the most probable outcome is the long-term night. And this external energy may, may just come in like a fire, right? But it's going to be long lasting. There's too many pentacles here. There's a lot of self-satisfaction, but that's gonna be about the hard work. And you're gonna need all this energy. <laughs> You're going to need um, that Sagittarius, that can-do energy, that um, philosophical standpoint. Um, because, yeah, you want to come from this king of wands, from this knight of wands. So, And if someone does come in who's younger, say younger fire sign here, or someone who has sort of... Hmm, energy like player energy here, but you want like daddy energy here. Like if there's player energy, it's to, it's going to be rejected in you or someone else here. Like it's it's like the mastery is what matters. We don't want to. There's no messing around, and you know the difference. So yeah, and there's too much Leo energy here as well. So. Very interesting, and if it is a love reading for you, then there is a lot of, you could be getting at least a couple of suitors here um, with some fire sign, um, heavy fire sign energy, uh, especially a male. So yeah, lots of Mars energy here with that explosion, someone's very excited, but definitely new lands being reached here. Very new, exciting opportunities. Here in internal energies or uh, subconscious thinking here is the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> so you can juggle it. You think you can't, but um, I love how there is one sword card out of this entire sword reading around the situation, which is really partnerships and brilliance and um, fool me once uh, stuff here, right? Like this is tough energy. She's It's tough, but also like it seems to be working um, and it's not mean and there's a difference. So I would say, yes, you can balance something here. Stay out of old, stay out of your head, stay out of old patterns and old narratives, you're doing great collective, you really are, and let something take you away, like be willing to be taken away into something that is full of beauty and makes you feel beautiful, brings beauty into the world, brings beauty into your life. Um, again, give, give, all, give your fears away because it's working. <laughs> it's really adding up. You can see this here in this wealth, and health mentality, so congratulations. We have the Sun card here for overall energy, as I mentioned, with the Six of Pentacles. This is perfect collaboration, okay? The Three of Pentacles is a grand collaboration. It's the beginning of solid foundation. The Six here, especially opposite of the Sun, come on. Best possible outcome 
for everything going on here. I would trust your instincts here and really have no fear, even if you're leaving something behind. And um, don't let anyone take you for a ride. You need to be a tough cookie when you need to be. Um, and um, yeah, and do it, you know, do it because it sings to your soul here. Because the right people are going to get you. Like I said, you can be tough. You don't have to be mean. Um, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck. This is pure success. This, again, could be about a child or hearing about the birth of a child or a pregnancy here. Um, really gorgeous energy, guys. Not kidding. So collective, thank you so much for joining me. I love doing these readings for you. And I really do help they're hopeful to at least one person out there. So until the next one, take care and bye for now.